Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the pedigree is for the rare autosomal recessive trait. The probability that a child of 3, 4 and 3, 5, so generation 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4 and 3, 5 will manifest the phenotype for the trait is and looking at this pedigree we can say that person here who is affected has genotype small a, small a, because this is autosomal recessive trait. So this is have to be his genotype. And that tells us that genotype of his parents have to be capital A and small a, because the phenotype is normal, but they have affected child with two recessive alleles. That means that each of them have to have this recessive allele to pass to the son. Because this is rare, genetic disorder, we have to assume that all people who are genetically unrelated to this couple, who marry into this family, are going to be genetically normal, phenotypically and genotypically. So genotype of this female is going to be capital A and capital A. And this tells us that all children of this couple are going to be obligate heterozygous. So would have from other side dominant allele and from father side recessive allele. So all these children are obligate carers. So now we know the genotype of one parent. Now let's find probability that this parent also have recessive allele. When two parents are both heterozygous, the probability for them to have a child who is going to be a carer, because we know for sure that this female here is phenotypically normal, so she is not small a, small a genotype, but her probability to have dominant and recessive allele is going to be two out of three. Take a look. So these people are going to be phenotypically normal, but two out of three are going to be carers. So probability that this female has genotype capital A and small a is going to be two thirds. And also we assume that this person, this male who is unrelated to this couple is going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. Male parent, so this parent here can give to his daughter only dominant allele. So no questions about this, dominant allele from the father side. But mother can give away the dominant allele or recessive allele. And probability that she is going to give recessive allele to her daughter is going to be one out of two. So because mother has two alleles, dominant and recessive, chances are equal that this is going to be dominant allele or recessive allele. We are specifically interested in recessive allele. And chances are 50% or one half. Now, what is the probability that male parent is going to give to his progeny recessive allele? Probability is one half, that this is going to be recessive allele and the same 50% chances that from the mother side child is also going to get recessive allele. So our calculations are going to be as follows. This female here has probability of being a carrier two sorts, so two sorts times one half times one half times one half. And from this side, from the father side, again times one half. And we are going to have two times one times one times one is going to be two and three times two is going to be six times two is going to be 12 and times 2 is going to be 24. So our answer is going to be 2 over 24. Or we can divide nominator and denominator by 2. And we are going to get 1 over 12. So we have found that probability for this couple to have affected child with genotype small a small a as 1 twelfth. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.